Hi guys, welcome to a Corona specific series by LDFS. In my last few videos, we were discussing about emergency fund, what is an emergency fund, why do we require it, pros and cons of having it, and how much uh, should we keep aside in the emergency fund. These all things we have discussed. If you have not watched that video, kindly, uh, the link is given in the description below. You can watch that so that you have understand this video better. Now, in today's video, we will be discussing about how can we create that emergency fund, how and where to keep that emergency fund. This is something which we will be discussing today. Uh, but before going into that, kindly like and subscribe to our channel and share it with maximum dentists, especially junior dentists who are just starting the clinic or have started the clinic so that they will benefit the maximum from this. Thank you so much in advance for sharing it. When emergency fund comes to our mind, uh, we feel that, okay, whenever we'll have some extra money in the clinic, we'll uh, deposit the money for the emergency fund. But uh, trust me, that doesn't happen. I have always tried that in starting. Well, what happened was if uh, in let's suppose let's take example if today's month uh, i mean this month i got 30000 extra then i'll keep that 30000 money in the emergency fund but if some extra expense came like if you wanted to buy a rvg from a very long time and you got a very good offer then you have a tendency rather we have that tendency to take out that money from the emergency fund and spend it on the rvg and we'll think that we'll uh, refill that money next month whenever we get some extra money but that should not happen i'm not saying that investing in the clinic is not important it is very much important but equally important is to have an emergency fund which will help us during some rainy day so always keep both things aside investing in your clinic for some um, instruments or maybe some upgradation anything but also emergency fund should is equally important so it's always better to keep both different now um, there, when you're setting up a clinic there um, if possible that is the best time to keep aside some emergency money if you have some buffer money or uh, you can keep aside like you got 5 lakh and 4 lakh is the expense for the clinic 1 lakh you can keep aside for the emergency fund i would highly recommend you to do that rather than investing that one money in the clinic that one lakh you can keep that uh, in the emergency fund so that you will get an initial some help for creating that emergency fund but if you can't do that many of us can't uh, do that yeah even i couldn't do that so what i did was i created the emergency fund as and when the clinic started picking up now what are the ways how uh, by which i created my emergency fund i'll share it with you guys i hope it helps you too So there are three things which I uh, started doing when I wanted to keep the money aside for the emergency fund. First thing was I calculated the amount which was required and the time frame in which I wanted to achieve that. For example, if you want to have one lakh in your emergency fund and you want to achieve it in 10 months time, then you know that per month you have to contribute at least 10,000 in your emergency fund then you will be able to achieve the one lakh of emergency fund in 10 months why is it, is this important this is important so that we know when few months we are not able to contribute or if we are taking out some uh, money from that also we will have that thing in mind that we will not be able to achieve this thing within or achieve the target which we have set within 10 months so it will extend to more than one year so when have when we have that thing in our mind that the time frame we are have set aside to achieve that then we usually um, uh, are reluctant to use that money for something else and we usually will contribute x amount or whatever amount you have decided towards that emergency fund every month so that is something which you should have in mind before starting the emergency fund have how much calculate of how much amount you want and also the time frame within which you want to achieve that target that is the first thing second thing which i did was to save regularly 
now consistency matters a lot if this month i contributed next month i didn't contribute uh, and sometimes we just get so caught up in the clinics functioning and the cases and all those things we forget about these things forget about the emergency fund forget about creating it forget about keeping aside that money so rather than that have a habit of saving regularly decide on a date like i used to decide that fifth of every month i'll keep aside this much amount in my emergency fund so that every fifth it it has to happen whatever is there you can keep an alarm you can keep anything you can keep a reminder but decide and save regularly saving regularly is very important it helps us achieve that target easily so that is the second habit which we can uh, which 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 can help us to create the emergency fund so now moving ahead to the third thing third is you have to decide on how much money you have to keep aside a month now uh, this is totally a personal choice you can decide um, any amount you want uh, which depends on the clinic and other factors everything how much is the revenue and all but the, i'll tell you two ways of deciding this one is having a fixed amount in mind like, like uh, the earlier we discussed 1 lakh rupees in 10 months then 10000 is the um, minimum amount not minimum like 10000 is the amount which you need to contribute every month so that is a fixed amount which you have to contribute now there is a way where you can do uh, have a fixed amount which is going every month or there's another way where you what you can do is you can give a percentage of the revenue to the emergency fund i'll explain this further so what i did was i decided on the percentage i decided 10% or 20% whichever is comfortable for you so let's take example of um 10% so imagine um you are getting 1 lakh revenue in one month so 10% of that revenue that is 10000 rupees will go to the towards the emergency fund now but next month you didn't had that much revenue you had only 50000 revenue then 10% of that 50000 revenue that is 5000 rupees will go towards the emergency fund when these kind of when its percentage i felt that the tension was less because um i um uh, was not under stress that even if the revenue has decreased i have to keep aside this much chunk of money for the clinic or rather for the emergency fund so percentage help me vary the uh, amount which i am contributing to the emergency fund depending upon the revenue now you can have anything you can have the revenue or you can have the percentage of the profit you can have percentage of uh, the total revenue anything you can decide you can have 10% 20% 30% whatever you want to but if having a percentage i felt it was personally uh, easy for me easy for me to keep aside that money i was saving regularly and also i wasn't skipping any month i was contributing something towards the emergency fund every month and when the months were good that time i was contributing more so that is something which uh, has helped me create the emergency fund so these are the three things which um, i think may help you first is deciding the amount and the time frame you want to achieve that emergency fund second is saving regularly third is having a fixed amount in mind either a fixed amount or fixed percentage have that in mind so that that is the amount you have to contribute every month you don't have to think again and again every month and calculate how much should i contribute towards the emergency fund whatever is if you think that whatever is left from all the expenses you will contribute towards the emergency fund that uh it's very tricky because sometimes if an investment comes like the rvg which we had uh, a discussion about you wanted to buy that rvg for few months and then when you got a good offer you'll go ahead and buy this that means you are investing whatever the money is left you'll invest it in the clinic rather than contributing it in the emergency fund for that month so having a money uh, or percentage in mind helps us to contribute at least something towards the emergency fund kindly comment below and let us know how you created your emergency fund what were your ways i would love to know that we uh, could share it with other dentists also so that others can also benefit from your ways now the next thing comes 
what to do with the emergency fund like where to keep it there are two ways to do, look at it either you can invest it somewhere in some firm or you can keep aside that money in some account as a liquid cash but um, both uh, the scenarios will discuss first imagine you have kept aside in an account uh, as a cash in your savings account or current account but uh, what i would suggest you is if you are keeping aside money in your account always remember one thing or at least try that you should not keep that money in an account where you are transacting quite often like your current account which where you are doing lot of transactions for your clinic don't keep that emergency fund money in that account because you will never have that differentiation of how much revenue is coming how much is a uh, emergency fund uh, how much is that you won't have that clear cut idea it's better to keep that money aside and in a different account now you should not keep that in the uh, personal account also so because when we are using something for the house or some expenses something the debit card we are using for some personal uh, vacation or something like that it is quite easy to use the emergency fund we won't have that money or amount in mind always that okay right now this month i have uh, uh, saved around 50000 but next month for some expenses you used it and it's again back to 45000 so that is something which will make it difficult for you to achieve that target which you have set aside so what i did was when i was creating it i uh, started another clinic another uh, account in another bank which i usually don't transact for my personal or my clinic purpose and in that account i used to keep all my emergency fund money so that if i know that emergency fund is totally kept aside i am not seeing it it's sort of like out of sight is out of mind so when you don't see that money in your account you don't tend to spend it much so that is what i did that is worked that is what worked for me so there will be different things which can work for you but i would recommend that don't keep the emergency fund money in the account where you are transacting quite often either for the personal or for the clinic reasons next is if you are investing that money in somewhere some fund some firm always remember two things one is this money is for emergency fund so i would recommend not to invest it in a firm or fund where it is too risky and uh, maybe at the time of your need if um, the law, your money is in loss you won't be able to take out that money and use it effectively so keep aside that money in some fund or invest in some fund which may give you a less interest rate but at least that money is safe and it is not risky and you can use it whenever an emergency comes so that is the first thing you should consider when you are investing that money second thing you should consider is how much time does it take to withdraw that money this money is for emergency fund so it should be as liquid as possible as easily you can take it out it should be like that Uh, because imagine the lockdown happened and you had to go to the uh, bank to you know withdraw that money that doesn't um, sound feasible maybe if some emergency happen and you can't go to the bank then what so rather than that invest where you can take out that money online without any um, hindrance and without physically going to the bank or any firm and getting that money in within few hours or at least within a day so that is something you should consider these two things always keep in mind when you are investing the emergency fund money in some kind of firm or anything have a chat with your banker before investing on these firms so that is a second way so either you can keep it on cash but in a different account or but definitely the rate of interest will be very less or you can invest that money but be careful about these two things so that is all about the emergency fund in the last few videos we have discussed about what is an emergency fund why is it required <clears throat> sorry uh, what is the pros and cons and uh, how much to keep aside in emergency fund how to create it and where to keep it these all things we have discussed i hope you like today's videos kindly like share and subscribe and send us a hi on this number we'll add you to the special broadcast list thank you so much guys